subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Very recently, in response to a lawyer's letter, Union Law Minister said that the government has in fact been requesting chief justices across all high courts to consider candidates from SCs, STs, OBCs, minorities and women candidates while sending proposals for appointment of judges. This has of course reignited the entire debate on representation within the judiciary once more. But can the judiciary actually have quotas for SCs, STs, OBCs or women? I'll be answering this question for you in today's episode of KYC or Know Your Constitution. Now to be clear, under the constitution there's no bar as such on reserving posts of judges of the uh, Supreme Court and High Courts for SCs, STs, OBCs or minorities, but it also does not really talk about them. The appointments are regulated by two articles, articles 217 and 124 of the constitution. Article 217 talks in great detail about the appointment of judges to the High Courts, their qualification as well as their procedure. Article 124 similarly talks about appointment of Supreme Court judges, their qualifications, etc. But like I said, both these provisions don't really have any specific clause for ensuring reservations in the higher judiciary. In fact, in the year 2000, the Parliamentary Committee on the Welfare of Scheduled Castes and Scheduled Tribes, headed by BJP leader Karya Munda, in a report suggested to the government that it should take steps to amend these two articles to give adequate uh, representation to the deprived sections in the higher judiciary. Uh, in fact, this report had said things like uh, Supreme Court and High Courts uh, uh, by claiming power over the constitution actually practice untouchability and are disobeying the constitution. But nothing really has changed since then. There have been attempts internally like the government requesting the Chief Justices of High Courts to consider SCs, STs, OBCs, minorities and women candidates while recommending judges to the High Courts. Um, CGI NV Ramana had also asked the Chief Justices of High Courts to ensure that recommendations for judicial appointments to the High Courts reflect the social diversity of the country. This was earlier this year during his first ever live and direct interaction with High Court Chief Justice. Now, meanwhile, the representation in the courts is quite alarming though. The only Dalit judge to have served as the Chief Justice is Justice K.G. Balakrishnan who retired in May 2010. After his appointment, the next Dalit judge to have been appointed to the Supreme Court was Justice B.R. Gavai in May 2019. He is in line to be the second Dalit Chief Justice of India as well. If the seniority convention is followed, he will serve as the CJI from May 2025 to November 2025. In August, nine new judges were also appointed to the Supreme Court and this was considered to be a very representative list, so to say, with one judge from uh, the scheduled caste, Justice S uh, C T Shiv Kumar, another from OBC, Justice M M Sundaresh and three women judges. As for women judges, in September, Chief Justice of India N.B. Ramana had also lamented the minuscule representation of women in the Indian judiciary. He said that it was time that 50% of seats in the judiciary were reserved for women as it was their right and not a matter of charity. He also shared data to highlight the skewed gender ratio in the judiciary and said that there are only 30% women judges in the lower courts and 11.5% in high courts. In fact, if the numbers are seen, only 4 out of the 33 judges in the Supreme Court are women. Justices Indra Banerjee, Hima Kohli, B.V. Nagaratna and Bela Trivedi. The latter three judges took oath uh, in August, like I had mentioned uh, before, giving the Supreme Court its highest number of women judges in history. As for High Courts, uh, according to an October report by The Print, out of 627 judges in all High Courts at that time, only 66 were women. So just about 10% of the total working strength. Statistics from the last 15 years also showed that women's representation in the judiciary has been abysmally low. Between 2006 and 2021, 150 women judges have been appointed to the High Courts, but 84 of them have already retired and so only 66 are still serving. But when will the Indian Supreme Court get its first Chief Justice of India? Well, the wait is quite long because the development is likely to come only into 2027 with Justice B.V. Nagaratna's elevation to the Supreme Court. This is Apoorva Mandhani from The Print. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.